when you're in the process of learning a new topic, a new concept, a new technology, and you're seeking help from other people, it's going to be easier for you to tell them up front that you don't know. I, you know, tell them where you are. I don't know. I'm just starting with this and I don't really know what I'm doing and I need your guidance and help. Can you help me? You'll be surprised at how many people will be so much more receptive to you when you're open about that. Um, I've, inter I've, I've been, I've had the privilege of interviewing people, uh, some who are really great, others who were not. And I'll tell you the ones in most cases that were not all that great were people who were lying about where they at, where they are at. Um, people who are thinking that they may need to appear as if they know much more than they actually know. And in almost every case, as soon as a question is asked of them that they don't know, they try to answer it at a depth that they're not capable of. So I'm not saying if you don't, if you don't have to be the inventor of a technology to be able to talk about it, right? You don't have to be a, you know, expert through and through on it to talk about it, but you do have to have some, have worked with it, are familiar with it, have read about it, if you're going to talk about it especially in an interview and you know i've seen them try and if you know like on the other side of the table if there's a technical hiring manager who is asking a technical question and they are telling they they can tell they probably made the questions so they can tell whether or not you know what you're doing so i've seen these people who try to answer it at a depth that it's almost like they're trying to trick the interviewer, in this case, one one interviewee was trying to trick me into thinking that they knew what they were talking about. And I mean, after about 10 seconds, my brain already shut off and they were already disqualified as a candidate in my mind because they tried to trick me. And we already know that trust is the number one thing, right? It's like the number one thing when you're interviewing is trust. And when you say, I don't know, it actually builds trust in that interview format. So, if, you know, you don't know the thing. I don't know, um, but I'm open to learning it. And this would be my method of learning. That would be some a better answer. Um, and it would go a little bit deeper than I don't know. But specifically, when you are seeking out help from people that, you know, have that knowledge and that skill and that ability that, that you want to develop just tell them where you're at in the beginning don't try to you know challenge them in a way where you know you you got this pride built up you're like oh they're smart i'm gonna show them how smart i am don't do that they'll see how smart you are as you allow them to help you so that's one thing i would just strongly urge you to do and i promise you it'll help you throughout your career it'll help you accelerate and having that beginner's brain and keeping that beginner's brain will eventually help you to be in a position to help other people who need to know the knowledge that you've gained.